What's up everybody, LUI post workout. Quick video to tell you what's going on on my social media. As you guys know, Ronda Rousey lost uh, in a catastrophic way uh, versus uh, the kickboxer, right? I mean, she destroyed her in a serious way in the second round and it was absolutely uh, tremendous. I mean, she was quite cocky. She was saying, I, I will definitely retire undefeated and still I will kick her ass, this and that. She will never be able to give me a kick in the head and that's exactly what happened. Anyway, as you guys know, she was uh, she had a beef actually with Mayweather back in the day. I mean, she was going at him. She was saying, okay, I'm gonna beat you. I can beat you. I'm the best fighter in the world. You are not. We are the same weight. If you, tr if you fight with me, I will kick your ass. But at the same time, she was saying, it's not okay for a man to beat a woman. And then she was contradicting herself. She was saying, I can beat basically uh, Mayweather. I mean, come on, get your fact straight. You don't, she said, I don't want a man to, uh, to put uh, an image of a man beating a woman, but then again, I can beat his ass. That is absolutely disrespectful. It is illogical. And in my reckoning, I mean, he will absolutely kick uh, your ass. So even though she disrespected him on record several times, this is his response. He said on record, I want Ronda Rousey to hold her head up high and don't let this discourage you, right? If you need help as far uh, as with boxing, I am here to help you, right? A lot of people said that uh, he was basically making fun of her. I don't think so. I think this answer and this proposal is genuine and her boxing game is not uh, up there right? I mean, uh, her opponent uh, trains with uh, Winkle John, and that dude uh, pretty much is one of the best in the business, and his game, his game plan just worked. I mean, she won in a, uh, in a spectacular way. Proceed, shall we? Mm -hmm. What do we have? Alrighty, we have these two guys. This guy is from Egypt, and this dude is uh, from Morocco. Their gains are absolutely loyal. Dude is called uh, El uh, Wardani, and this guy is called Turi, right? Saluted. This dude is a proper, an utter giant from France. His name is Morgan Asté. Morgan Asté, allow me to tell you something in French. Bro, tes gants, ils sont loyaux, fils. 350 livres, 350 pounds, this mofo. He has a crazy upper body, Pretty much, I'll make a video about him quite soon. Stay tuned. Alrighty, uh, these two guys, they're two kangaroos. Actually, one is kangaroo, the other one is pretty much a koala from down under Australia. Let's see their gains, bro. There we go. Good job, boys. There we go. Proper Australian squat. Not saluted. Mm -hmm. Proceed, shall we? Mm -hmm. Peter Molnar, first time I've seen a picture of him uh, shaved in the head. As said, I stated, genetically optimized, aesthetically perfected, and must I add, saluted daily, right? The dude is absolutely marvelous, has been blessed with proper premium uh, genetics and pretty much Unfortunately, he is not the standard of bodybuilding nowadays. A lot of people say he could go to the new classic physique. The thing is, he is too heavy because, I mean, these guys are limited by height and also by weight. So he's pretty much a little bit larger than these guys. I mean, this guy is in the same category as Arnold Schwarzenegger with better, actually. He's, in fact, uh, you, you got to comprehend, he's better than Arnold when it comes to the bodybuilding metrics. You can compare him with that with with the physique of Cedric McMillan, and both are too heavy, unfortunately, uh, for uh, for the classic physique. And by IFBB bodybuilding standards, they're like too small, which is senseless, right? Uh, these are my uh, wheels. I mean, as you guys know, I belong to Team Never Shaved Legs. I trimmed them like once or twice for picture uh, purposes, but that's uh, about it, right? So those are my wheels. Finally, right, uh, Big Ramy lost all his gains. It is true. This picture surfaced merely an hour ago or so. As you guys can read, he was 48 days uh, out of the gym. He did not 
left. He took a uh, quite kind of a lengthy uh, break and he's back at it. I mean, admittedly, he lost a lot of weight. I mean, I would guess like, I don't know, bro, like 40 or 50 pounds on his frame because the dude uh, off season is pretty much like 350 or things like that, closer that way. So that's what's up. And uh, as you guys can read, his trainer that I tagged here, Mr. Al Nike, answered me. So what did he say? So he said, yes, he uh, look human now. Uh, he took almost two months off to give his body and joints a break. Ronnie Coleman used to do it every year after the Olympia, taking two to three months break. It is good me mentally and physically. It is absolutely true. If you are a Mr. Olympia, though, you can afford to do that because you compete once a year, right? You don't have to qualify. You're already qualified because you are the title holder, right? In the case of Big Grammy, he needs always to qualify to, uh, to Mr. Olympia. So he will compete at least, at least uh, uh, twice a year. You do not put into count, you know, like the Prague show and the, the Spain Arnold and things like that because these... I mean, these uh, championship actually, or those, these contests come right after Mr. Olympia, like a week or two or maximum three. So you, you might as well consider them one contest because you do only one prep for them all. That's what's up. So worry not, Big Grammy is not going to the physique or to the classical, uh, classic physique uh, division. He's absolutely a bodybuilder. And pretty much next year, if all goes well, he will still be the biggest mofo on stage. Salute you, whatever you is, on a daily basis, baby, please. And that's what time it is.